guys? What's going on, Keith? How are we all? Everything's good. Yeah, it's great. What do you remember about uh, doing the QB camp with Gruden? What kind of uh, yeah, uh, it was a lot of fun, man. Um, you know, he is literally a grinder. Uh, I was back in his studio or his office where literally it looks like a, you know, a TV set with all the film behind it, but that's actual film that he, like, stays in there and watches. I'm pretty sure he had watched every rep I'd ever played in college, uh, found some obscure tape from I don't know where he found. So it was a lot of fun. I uh, got a lot of good feedback and uh, enjoyed it. Was it helpful in terms of implementing some of Yeah, yeah. I mean, he gave me some good encouragement and just talking about the game at the pro level, so I really appreciated being able to be on it. How much does not having to face Khalil Mack change things for you? I mean, obviously he's talented, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to play 11 guys. They're not going to just put 10 out there without him. So uh, they got some talented, you know, pass rushers with Irvin, a guy I played, you know, being with Seattle for a long time, and some of those other guys are big, strong, long guys that, that rush the passer pretty well. So we got our work cut out for us. The fact you stayed aggressive late, even, I mean, you had the three picks and you were disappointed, but they stayed with you, stayed in. Is that kind of... Give you to remind you of how important you are to this offense. They didn't, you know, just get conservative. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna run our offense. You know, I don't think, uh, you know. No, no matter what's happened, we're still in a game. We're going to run our offense. We're going to be in attack mode. Um, but yeah, I thought I thought everybody trusted the process and, and kept moving right along. You've had some offensive coordinators with some characteristics that make uh, Bill Musgrave unique. You know, um, you know, Bill is uh, as smart as they come, man. Uh, he's he's uh, he's brilliant, and uh, I really appreciate his knowledge of the game and how he explains and installs and. Uh, you know, just teaches us the game. He does a great job of teaching us the game. So, uh, and he sees it through a quarterback's eyes, which I really like having a coordinator that's played quarterback and knows what we're going through. A lot of people talk about that brilliance. Can you give an example of kind of how that translates into what can help you? You know, just just stuff that comes down the pipe. Uh, you know, install wise. You know, he does a great job mixing things up and. Uh, giving defenses different things to think about and look at, um, and then what what are our keys? What do we need to be looking at? What do we need to be reading uh, on certain plays? Case in your experience, when somebody has a game like Emmanuel had on Sunday, the following week does that tend to open things up for a guy like Deshaun or Cortland? You know, you never know. I mean, uh, it depends. You know, on what defenses and what plays called. Um, you know, you never know who's going to get the ball and what what given play. Uh, you know, so that's why that's why every guy out there, whoever's running a route, they're running hard. Uh, even if they, you know, they know they're not getting the ball, sometimes there's still a possibility they might do it. So um, I thought that says a lot about everybody running routes really hard, and those guys block so well uh, on a lot of the run plays too, which which opened up a lot of that stuff. What do you see from you? How do you handle uh, a lot of guys <clears throat> telling you they're open? Uh, you know, I yeah, I, I appreciate feedback from those guys. Um, I mean, they all want the ball, but. Yeah, and they're getting open. They're doing great. Um, you know, there's a lot of plays where they're open, uh, and so uh, that's that's communication that happens in between plays, in between series, in between practices. So uh, we're gonna go and watch this film, learn from it, and talk about who was open and who wasn't. Do you ever, they ever like all four come back to you at the same time? So. Uh, I mean, it, it happens at different times. There's different guys that come back differently. Uh, for some guys, open is different than other other guys. <laughs> you ever have to tell them no, you weren't? Uh, no, these guys are great, man. I mean, these guys are awesome. They do a great job of communicating uh, on certain plays when they're open or not. People have said, Bill, when he's on the headset with you, will add like or something instead of just giving you the play. Does he give you yeah, he mixes it up. He does a good job of both. Sometimes staying off the off the off the button, and sometimes, you know, giving inf information that uh, you know he thinks we might need. He does a great job of that. Do you have a preference? You want to just he does great, man. I mean, I love how he does it. I think it's I think it's really good. Your book came out this week. What do you hope to message or something that people take from the book? Yeah, um, you know, so we, want, we want somebody to be encouraged and challenged. Um, you know, I've been through a lot of life stories and uh, a, lot of, a lot of adversity, a lot of challenges. So if just one person is, is uh, encouraged, um, you know, maybe challenged by something that uh, is in there. Uh, plus, we're donating all the proceeds to different communities wherever we've lived. So uh, Denver being one of them. So we're excited to be able to do that. Have you been out in the like, supermarket or anywhere and anyone say anything about Raiders Week? Uh, no, I haven't been to a supermarket in a while, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. No, not, uh, not, not any supermarkets lately.
Jason, you no, I, honestly, any fans do either. I, I have. I'm just busting you, man. Jason, you look at the composition of this roster. I think there's seven players who are 30 or older, but a lot of rookies who mm -hmm. are in key roles. Do you like that blend of youth and experience, and, and, and how do you strike a good balance? Of that? Yeah, you know, we're going to need everybody, um, and we do. We have experience. We have young guys. We have, uh, um, you know, we have. Uh, we have all sorts of talent on all sorts of you know sides of the ball, so uh, it's a team game, and we showed how you know exactly how that was on uh, on Sunday. Jake Butts' first game in almost two years. What did you see out of him? Kind of what have you seen from him throughout preseason? Jake's a solid guy, man. He's a, he's a guy that you can count on, uh, play in and play out to be where he needs to be, and it showed on that third down, the huge third down, you know, to get us down there and scoring scoring range. So uh, yeah, a guy I count on. Uh, all snaps, you know, um, not just run, uh, not just pass, but run as well. So he does a great job. Today, Gruden said he thinks that you'll be the free agent acquisition of this offseason. What does that mean to have someone outside of this organization have that much confidence in you? Um, you know, I try to take all that with a grain of salt. Um, you know, I appreciate the confidence and the, and the compliment, I guess you could say. But, uh, um, you know, there's a lot of people out there that have a lot of different opinions about certain things. So I try to stay the course and just uh, – uh, just try to be me, um, but I appreciate the compliment. Thanks a lot. Dan said on Monday that Phil Lindsay has surprised a lot of people with the ways he's been able to contribute. Has he surprised you with all he's been able to do in his first year? You know, I didn't I didn't know Phil before I got here before the draft. So, um, you know, I don't I don't pay attention to pre-draft, you know, scouting reports, all these guys, and I mean you hear things about people coming in, but. Uh, you know, my initial um, thoughts on him were when I saw him here the first time. And, um, you know, so and everything I've seen from him, I've really liked. And uh, obviously, it showed on Sunday. Okay, it's time for a few more. Okay. If not grocery stores, when's the last time you've been to a laundromat? <laughs> even, uh, even further back. Yeah. Even further back. Just curious. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we're going to end it. All right, see you guys. <laughs>